Yesterday, officers attached to the traffic department of the Region 6 Divisional Police sensitized the members of the public about plans for Road Safety Week 2020. Renetta Court reports. Last Sunday, the Region 6 Divisional Police launched Road Safety Week 2020 under the team Stop Speeding, Don't Drink and Drive, Stay Alive. Yesterday, November 26th, Officer in charge of traffic in Region Number 6, Deputy Superintendent Timothy Williams, Inspector Ramnot, Officer in charge of traffic in Central Quarantine, Sergeant Wood, in charge of traffic in Upper Quarantine, and Sergeant Murray, who is in charge of traffic in the Number 1 subdivision, sat down with this newscast to speak on the importance of road safety. Officer Williams highlighted some activities they have executed for Road Safety Week 2020. We commence our week with a short service at Central Police Station. That was the main event that commenced our road safety program for the week. Apart from that, we have a number of other activities planned. Um, just to name a few, well, of course, our enforcement, by day and by night, we're going to be enforcing the, rigorously all the traffic laws against errant motorists. Inspector Ramnaut, who is in charge of the number two subdivision, Burlam to Tallergy, then remarked, We got a lot of concern of the current with the traffic situation, especially at Portmont Market during Friday and Saturday when they're in the the vendor using the, the road service to vendor during Friday and Saturday. We also have some concern with stray animals on the road, especially in the quarantine, at night, especially at night. Um, we get some other concern with the, the farmer drying the paddy on our road surface, and also the farmer who using the machineries from the farmland to the road deposit mud on the road because it's uh, uh, cause a lot of accident. Sergeant Wood, who was stationed at the number 51 police station, then highlighted some of the challenges the police are faced with in terms of traffic within the area. My area of responsibility is from Tallergy to Morrison Creek. My main concern on the quarantine public roadway is the tractors who are coming out from the back dam with the, with the cage wheel, with the mud, and very dangerous to road users. So I'm playing to tractors owner, drivers, if they could get the mud off in the back dam before they come on the roadway. The other one, at Skeller Market, where really congestion, where really the car park, the bus park, and Drivers don't take precaution at all. Always in a hurry. So I plead to everybody, let me practice good road users and let me save lives. Sergeant Murray, officer in charge of traffic in the number one subdivision, which stretches from Lytown to Burlam, later urged. We're asking road users to, you know, ensure that they be, use the five C's when they're using the road, ensure that the, at night that the, the lights and all these things are working. For the road safety, we, we would have done some lectures to drivers, minibus operators, and also various companies within the subdivision. Deputy Superintendent Williams later reported. Of late, we um, observed too that there's a large amount of pedocyclists using the road by night without lights on um, those by on their bicycles i wish to advise is not our intention to take away bicycles but safety must come first we don't want you to be riding by night and you you're involved in an accident because there's no light on your pedal cycle so please be advised you need to ensure that your pedal cycle is fitted with a uh, white light to the front and a reflector to the rear. You wear or use the safety helmet. 
Why you would want to be speeding down the road without a safety helmet? So if you get yourself involved, you're on the road, you hit your head, you sustain head injury, and you succumb to your injury. It's just for your own safety, I'm appealing to you, motorcyclists, please ensure you wear your safety helmet. He also called on farmers and tractor operators to be vigilant when traversing the roadway, especially with machinery. Remember, the road is there for all of us to use. And if you're going to be leaving your rice field or wherever, your place of work with your tractor, use the natural light. Ensure you're off of the main road during the course of, well, during the, course of the day. Avoid using the tractor during the night. In particular, the tractor is fitted with cage wheels. And avoid, avoid the dirt that you would deposit on the road. Williams then spoke on the purpose of this year's team for Road Safety Week. The Road Safety Week was launched under the team Stop Speeding, Don't Drink and Drive, Stay Alive. Of course, this, this team, um, it's, 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 very, it's very informative and it's very relevant. So I would like to urge all road users, desist from the practice of speeding and drinking and driving. One that is one too much for us. We cannot afford to lose any person because of an accident on the road. Ranks within the traffic department of the Region 6 Divisional Police will work assiduously to ensure that citizens use the roadways in a safe manner. We're going to be ensuring that Ranks going to be out there by night and by day to ensure, in particular, we are approaching the festive seasons, or even though we have certain uh, restrictions as it relates to the COVID. We're going to ensure that our ranks out there to look for persons who might want to drink and drive or overindulge or drivers or motorcyclists, whichever class, who, who, who might want to be speeding on our road. We're going to be extremely vigilant for you. So once you're caught, we're going to place you before the court. Road users are therefore advised to practice the five C's when traversing the roadway, which are care, common sense, caution, courtesy, and consideration. Reporting for Channel 8 News, Renetta Court.